John Daller with Hawkeye Industries. We sell the Duratec products, which are used in the composites industry for the creation of patterns, mold, and some marine applications. We've created a video, and the purpose of our video is to provide information to help people use our products in the most efficient manner and get the most successful outcome. In this video, we'll talk primarily about techniques for spraying Duratec. Some of the things we'll talk about apply to most things that are used in the composites industry. Some of the details we'll provide are very specific to Duratec. Our goal is to help people achieve the best possible outcome with the Duratec products. Our products are designed particularly for use in these areas. When used properly, you can get fantastic outcomes. However, the way you use them has a lot to do with the outcome you're going to achieve. We're going to discuss spray techniques. We're going to show a couple of different spray guns. This is going to be a combination of best practice. We will show a high quality spray gun that's used to achieve good outcomes, great outcomes with our product. We'll also show a product we bought at a local hardware store for a very minor amount of money. Demonstrate the fact it's possible to use this gun. We'll also talk about the trade-offs, maybe the compromises in quality of using that type of equipment. This is a high quality HVLP spray gun. The advantages to a gun like this are that it allows you to lay down the Duratec smoothly, it minimizes the orange peel, and it's pretty easy to use and easy to clean. You'll notice we've added an air pressure regulator. This is useful because you want about 40 pounds per square inch of air pressure at the gun. You can adjust it right there and assure that's what you're actually getting. This gun has a 2.2 millimeter tip. That's a good general purpose size for spraying Duratec and we've been able to spray the Duratec primers through this gun without requiring any thinner. This gun also has a control for fan geometry that's on the top and just below it is the needle control for break up air and breaking up the spray of Duratec. This is a lower price gun, something we bought at a local hardware store for around $10. The trade-off with this type of gun will be that it's more difficult to get a lot of Duratec out, so this gun might be appropriate for a smaller part. It's probably going to be necessary to use some thinner, either Duratec thinner or for a primer, methyl ethyl ketone, to make sure that the Duratec will go out through the smaller spray tip. Also, it's usually necessary to use more air pressure. This can lead to dry spray, some overspray, or perhaps some orange peel on the surface. Despite that, you can get a reasonable outcome, just to understand the trade-offs with using a piece of equipment like this. This is Duratec Gray Polyester Surfacing Primer. It's necessary to mix Duratec before you use it. We recommend either using a paint shaker or using a drill mount mixer. Usually a stick or a paint paddle isn't going to be enough. Measure the catalyst carefully. We recommend using 20 cc's per quart when measuring by volume. Stir it thoroughly before you use the Duratec. It's also possible to measure the catalyst by weight. We recommend 1.8% catalyst added by weight. We recommend you set up the gun on a piece of scrap away from the part. It's necessary to get several things adjusted properly on the gun. First of all, the air pressure should be, roughly speaking, 40 pounds per square inch. Next, you want to get the fan adjusted so a consistent amount of Duratec is being delivered top to bottom. A wide spray is generally better than a narrow one. Adjust the needle to get a delivery of finely sized droplets and adjust the air pressure to make sure that enough Duratex is coming out. Hold the gun at a 90 degree angle to the part. Make your first pass fairly light, and then if possible, make your additional passes in an opposite direction. Build about four to five wet mills per wet pass, 
and then wait about two minutes for solvent release. Do this till you've built about 20 wet mills. From the moment you catalyze the Duratec, you've got about 12 to 14 minutes at room temperature to use it. Be sure to get the Duratec out of the gun and begin cleaning it or it'll set up in the gun. Acetone is a good cleaning solvent. Be sure to thoroughly clean the inside of the gun, eventually working your way to the outside. Once the acetone is spraying out clean, remove the air cap and be sure to clean the Duratec off the horns. Eventually store the air cap in the cup along with some solvent. If you don't get the gun cleaned up in time, the Duratec goes solid. We've already sanded the surface primer and now we're wiping it down with acetone. We recommend that you don't use a tack rag for this. We'll be spraying the orange vinyl ester high gloss top coat. After shaking up the Duratec, we recommend that you pour the high gloss products through a filter before you use it. We recommend a smaller tip, 1.8 millimeters, for the high gloss products. If you're going to use the same tip, be sure to tighten up the needle a little bit and turn down the pressure. Thank you. 